Grant is thinking of a number. He states, if you divide my number by 5, then increase it by 3, and then double the result, you get 20. Which of the following sequential steps, when applied to the result in 20, would result in Grant's original number? So, think about it for a second. We're talking about Grant and he's thinking of a number, right? He said he does a couple things to that number and then he gets 20. So here's the thing. Grant went forward with some steps and resulted in 20. So if we want to work with the 20, we will then have to go completely backwards to get to the original number. So with that said, we're not trying to find that original number exactly. We just want the steps to do so, especially if we're looking at the answer choices here. So there we go. So what we need to do is basically go backwards. I'm going to start with 20. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and look at his steps. So I got 20. Then the last step was double the result. So what's the opposite of doubling something? Well, first off, we need to know what doubling means in terms of our operations. Doubling means multiplying by 2. So therefore, the opposite would be dividing by 2. So automatically speaking, I can go ahead and look at my answer choices and eliminate anything that isn't beginning with division by 2. So my first, gone. Second, let's multiply and not divide, gone. Third, half the number. Dividing by 2, be very careful. If you divide something by 2, you are cutting it in half. So half the number, yeah, you're good. Uh, the last two, divide by 2, divide by 2, yep, those are still good. Next, he says the second to last step was increase by 3. The opposite of increase is decrease. So we would subtract 3 as our next step. So let's go ahead and check it out. Ah, this one has add 3, not subtract. Not it. This one has divide by 3, and the last choice is subtract 3. So then, the fourth option's gone. Our answer choice here is E, or the last choice. Boom. And here, guys, this question is all about working backwards from the result. It's kind of like undoing an equation. So, hope this helps.